Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the new moon of Sunday, September 9th, where we find the sun and the moon together in the late degrees of Leo, the lion. When I dropped in with the star beings to find out what they wanted shared for this new moon, what they wanted you to know for this new moon, the first thing I saw were my saddlebags. No, I'm not talking about my muffin top. The saddlebags of resources that I have gathered, that hopefully you have gathered in this previous moon cycle, these last two weeks. We can and should bust into that box of resources that we've cultivated. In the visioning, I traveled up into the heavens where I was taken in by the lion, enveloped by this humongous, warm cat stripping away the cultural overlays of astrology or anything else, just communing with this being, I could feel that he was a great being of compassion and forgiveness, and that he was a being of great self-love. Interestingly, for this new moon, we have a situation kind of like a full moon, in that the sun is exactly opposite Neptune, across the way in Aquarius. The moon is over here with the sun too. So we have sun and moon directly opposite Neptune in Aquarius. Neptune, king of the sea. In the lion's embrace, as I gazed across to Neptune in Aquarius, the first words that came were that of collective hypnosis. For me, this immediately related to the great untruths that we tell ourselves. Neptune in Aquarius holds the vibration of the great collective escape, the collective consciousness, the collective unconsciousness. Also associated with Neptune, music, art, dance. With the dark of this Leo moon facing directly into this Neptunian placement. I could feel the pull of our illusions. I could feel the pull of our self delusions contrasting with the self knowing and forgiveness for having these illusions. In other words, here in this moon cycle, we can both awaken to where we're deluded and be embraced in forgiveness for these delusions. Once again, we hear the fallibility of the human being. It's a feature, not a bug. It's part of who we are. Yes, over and over again, we are tempted off of our path. We are bewitched by the sensations and phenomena all around us in this place. But this does not in any way diminish the purity of the light that lives within each one of us, our soul's light. No way. The lion sees us in this purity. The great celestial being of the lion is associated with willing sacrifice. So if you're like me and the word sacrifice makes you a little nervous, that kind of freaks me out. So I wanted to know some more. They put it like this. To everything is a season. To make the sacrifice is akin to picking fruit at its ripeness because to save it on the vine would waste its potential and the potential will wane regardless of its application. So just like fallibility is a feature in the human being, so too is our ability to move stuff around and get things where they need to be. This moon cycle we are seeing where things go as illusions break down, as we see the truth. The star beings invited us to come at this with fresh eyes, looking into the future rather than the past. So instead of saying, oh yeah, I've got that covered, taking a real fresh look. Like Christmas in September, uh, they said, it's like being a secret Santa, paying attention to where you can give little anonymous gifts, where you can be of service without expecting adulation necessarily. That's the secret Santa part. Move through your days 
noticing. Where can you bring something special, something unique, something nobody else can bring to the table? Everything is Thanks for watching. Bye. Woo. That was cool.